So if you're sexually active before marriage, it's not okay with God. No matter how much you protest, and no matter how much you say, well, I love him or love her, it's not okay with God. If you think you're same-sex attracted, and you are sexually active with that person, it is not okay with God. No matter how much you protest, no matter how much you say, well, love is love, that's not actually love, that is lust. And lust is also sin as far as God is concerned. So you treat anything else that's not in those known categories because God's let us make, he's made known to us these things which are clearly not okay with him. And sometimes I wonder what it is the goal of any believer who's trying to justify things that the Bible clearly condemns. If you're watching pornography and, and you are lusting after someone, that is sin. If you're reading a graphic romance novel and lusting after an imaginary character, that is sin. It's not okay with God. If you are engaged in any type of behavior that leads you towards sexuality expressed outside of marriage, that is sin. I think if the church would start calling sin, sin, we might have a better argument for why we're not okay with homosexual marriage. You know why no one wants to believe us on that subject? Because the church is filled with people in adultery. It's filled with people who are watching pornography. It's filled with people who are pleasuring themselves. It's filled with people who are fornicating. And so we lose our voice when we will not call sin, sin. Amen? We got to call sin, sin. That may be unpopular in a lot of circles, but I'm telling you, if you want people to listen to you, you have to be intellectually honest and you have to be consistent. When the Bible speaks, we speak. 